from mighty microscopic organisms to zombie snakes that keep on biting even after the dead. Here are 18 animals that can survive the most extreme conditions. Welcome to Weird Wonders Wednesday. 18. Fennec Fox. Now, it's pretty tough to miss the ears on this critter, and they're not simply ornamental. The ears enable this canid to hear prey even if it's underground, and the ears also serve to help the fox dissipate the heat of the Sahara Desert. The fluffy coats not only deflect the high temperatures there, but also serve to keep the animals warm at night. Weighing less than four pounds, this is recognized as the smallest species of canid. 17. Meerkats. Mobs of these small carnivorans are found in the areas of the Kalahari Desert, the Namib Desert, and in South Africa. While their short-range vision is poor, they have excellent long-range eyesight, allowing them to be effective at guarding their groups and at foraging. They're known to be immune to certain types of venom, including that of some scorpions, and they're also known for their vocalizations to communicate danger. However, they are not known to break into song. 16. Adax antelope. Now here's another creature that makes its home in the Sahara Desert, and this one is an antelope which is easily identified by its unique spiral horns. These animals have developed a number of adaptations that allow it to survive in the intense heat. They can get by with drinking very little water over extended periods of time, and the color of their coat depends upon the season. In the winter, it is grayish brown. But in the summer, the coat morphs into a white or sandy blonde coloration to better reflect the radiant heat. Did you know this creature is considered critically endangered? And that's due in part to the popularity of the meat and leather. 15. Thorny Devil. Now, these creatures call Australia home, and they are recognized by their fearsome-looking sharp spines, which help deter predators from eating them. And those spines serve an additional purpose as well. The ridges collect water from any part of the lizard's body and transport it to the mouth via the skin. When dealing with predators, the critter will present a false head made of soft tissue on the back of its neck in order to confuse the aggressor and gain some time to escape. 14. Greenland Shark Since these big fish inhabit the frigid waters of the North Atlantic Ocean at depths of some 1,200 meters or 3,900 feet or deeper, sightings of them tend to be rare. They are among the largest sharks, weighing around 2,200 pounds and measuring more than 20 feet long. Now, thought to be the coldest dwelling sharks as well, they tend to move slowly to conserve energy, and that ties in with its slow metabolism and impressive longevity. It has the longest lifespan of any vertebrate species with some sources estimating they can live for close to 400 years. 13. Deep Sea Worms These alien-looking creatures are known for thriving in harsh undersea environments. Giant tube worms can be found miles deep on the floor of the Pacific Ocean, living around hydrothermal sea vents that belch out high levels of hydrogen sulfide. Now, there's another undersea worm called Paravanella sulfancola, and that's about as close as I'm going to get on that one. Well, anyway, this one lives in close proximity to the superheated fluids of hydrothermal vents, where temperatures can exceed 300 degrees Celsius. That would be about 570 degrees Fahrenheit. 12. Bedeloids. These are microscopic invertebrates that are often found in freshwater environments all over the world. And although there are over 450 species of these animals, not one male has yet been detected. All of these creatures are female and reproduce by parthenogenesis, a form of asexual reproduction. They survive by consuming the DNA of other organisms, and that stolen genetic material has given them an amazing ability to survive extreme dehydration. Beyond that, the ability helps them to survive radiation levels that are so strong, most other animals would be killed by that exposure. 11. Sahara Desert Ant. Now, this insect is known as one of the most heat-tolerant animals in the world, and considering its native habitat, it would have to be. Foraging on the floor of the Sahara Desert, this ant is known to withstand surface temperatures of some 178 degrees Fahrenheit and can maintain a body temperature of more than 122 degrees. 
pretty amazing, considering that no land animal yet identified can survive permanently at temperatures exceeding 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Still, according to some sources, even these heat-resistant critters might end up frying if they don't keep moving. While foraging in the heat of the day, the insects will use the sense of smell or even count their own footsteps to return home before they overheat. 10. Rappel's Griffin Vulture The Sahel Belt is a region of Central Africa that stretches more than 3,300 miles long, and it forms a natural border between the Sahara Desert and forested areas to the south. Rappel's Vulture is native to this area, and it's a large bird that can fly at some 22 miles per hour. Now, that is considered to be kind of slow. However, these birds can fly for up to seven hours nonstop at heights up to 37,000 feet above sea level, making it the world's highest flying bird. Now at such extreme heights, the air is so thin that water can boil at nearly 160 degrees Fahrenheit. But the vultures are able to survive the harsh environment thanks to a protein they carry that can effectively absorb oxygen. 9. Sponges. Do not let their appearance fool you. These multicellular organisms do qualify as animal life, and they have been around for a long time like some 670 million years. And many species have survived in some of the most hostile and alien environments in the world. Carnivorous demo sponges have been found thriving in the abyssal zone, nearly five and a half miles below the ocean surface. Now at those extreme crushing depths, sunlight is essentially non-existent. So no doubt these are some of the most resilient creatures on the planet. 8. Wood frogs. These amphibians can be found across North America, from Canada south to the Appalachians. They have a unique tolerance to cold that has caught the attention of biologists. In winter, the frogs will gather some leaves as a shelter, then simply freeze as temperatures plunge. They're actually in a state of hibernation, though able to withstand the freezing of the blood and tissues thanks to large concentrations of glucose from the liver. It works as a type of antifreeze in the bodies. While the heart eventually stops, the frogs can recover from many freeze and thaw events so long as no more than 65% of their total body water freezes. 7. Camels. Now, you think of a desert, and the first animal that likely comes to mind is this critter. Camels are pretty much synonymous with the arid expanses, and there are three surviving species of this critter. The one hump species is the dromedary, found in the Middle East and Africa. The Bactrian, or two-humped camel, is found in Asia, while the endangered wild Bactrian camel is native to China and Mongolia. Now, the vast majority of the world's camels are dromedaries, which can weigh more than 1,300 pounds. Their body temperature can range from 93 degrees Fahrenheit to around 104, a range which would likely be fatal to other animals. And under hot conditions, they can survive by drinking water about once every 10 days. Their thick coats help insulate the animals from the desert heat, and its color becomes lighter, reflecting light and preventing sunburn. And FYI, camels do not store water in the humps. Those are actually fatty tissues that help insulate camels from the heat. Six. Snailfish. Although there are more than 400 described species of snailfish, there are also many undescribed species, so there are still a lot of unknowns regarding this one. Now what is known is that they can be found in a wide range of ocean habitats, and that includes depths of more than 26,000 feet in the Mariana Trench. Now at those levels, the water pressure is devastating, and no light can penetrate that darkness. The species found there are referred to as the ethereal snailfish. 5. Cockroach. No doubt you've heard a lot of stories concerning the survivability of this well-known and often reviled insect. It is said they can survive a nuclear war and go on to inherit the Earth. Well, hopefully, we'll never have to verify that one, but they do exhibit a tolerance to radiation that is much greater than that of most vertebrates. They can go for weeks on end without nourishment and are known to live for weeks after being decapitated. And let's face it, Roaches have been around for more than 300 million years, even outlasting the dinosaurs. So whether it's Arctic cold or tropical heat, these critters can survive and thrive. 4. Spinolaricus chinzii. 
There's one thing that almost all animals need in order to survive any environment, and that would be oxygen, except when it comes to this little beast. Discovered in 2010, this microscopic organism is the only creature found in the animal kingdom that actually thrives in an anoxic environment, or a habitat lacking oxygen. It lives some two and a half miles deep below the surface of the Mediterranean Sea in an area referred to as a dead zone, or an area devoid of oxygen. Instead of generating energy with oxygen, these animals have organelles, which can provide energy to certain single-celled anaerobic organisms. 3. The Slithering Dead Rattlesnakes are pit vipers that can live in a variety of habitats, although we often associate them with harsher desert environments. In fact, the majority of rattlers do live in the American Southwest and in Mexico. The fangs, of course, impart a hemotoxic venom that can cause necrosis and paralysis. And along with surviving scorching desert environments, rattlesnakes seem to overcome conditions that are even more extreme, like death. The picture of a rattlesnake head might appear to be a computer-generated image, or maybe something from a movie, but it's actually the severed head of a rattlesnake that kept attempting to bite the man who chopped its noggin off. The zombie-like snake had made like the slithering dead and kept snapping its venom-dripping fangs at the man before it finally expired. Experts say that the severed head of a rattler can still deliver a venomous bite until about an hour after it has been decapitated. 2. The High Life at some 5,100 meters, or more than 16,700 feet above sea level, La Rinconada in Peru is the world's highest permanent settlement. But there's a small arachnid that can beat that record. The Himalayan jumping spider lives at elevations upwards of 22,000 feet, quite possibly making a case for the world's highest residency. The spiders have been documented inhabiting rocky terrain surrounded by ice and snow on a permanent basis. Experts say that they feed on insects blown onto mountain slopes by the wind. But how do you think the spiders got way up there in the first place? 22,000 feet would be quite a jump, you must admit. One, tough as glass. Also known as water bears, tardigrades seem to be creatures that many of us admire for the sheer toughness. They can survive extreme heat and cold temperatures and can even thrive in outer space. Not only that, but the tiny critters can even withstand being dehydrated for up to 10 years. All this, and they are only a few micrometers long. Researchers have recently found that the knack for survival stems from a unique set of proteins they carry, which have been termed tardigrade-specific intrinsically disordered proteins, or TDPs. While water is abundant, the proteins have a structure similar to jelly. But when the critters dry out, the proteins morph into a glassy shield, protecting the animal's sensitive materials and enabling them to survive. Tardigrades have been around for more than a half billion years and can be found from mountaintops to the deep seas and even the Antarctic.